they're not going to be happy with this, but they got to know. The public has got to know. Hello, I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500 here in Vero Beach, Florida. Today's topic is the brown recluse spider, the deadly brown recluse spider. Are you afraid of spiders? You know, folks, I never gave spiders much thought. They never scared me. I didn't think about them. I've seen thousands of them. But now after this research and this report, I'm going to be a lot more aware of them. Now, we've got four venomous spiders here in Florida. First up is the black widow spider. This guy. Ho, 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 ho. Deadly, deadly, deadly. They say his venom is 15 times more potent than a rattlesnake. Than a rattlesnake. Now, you know a rattlesnake can kill you. So you know what this guy can do. Oh, watch out for that black widow spider. Second up is the red widow spider. Now, he's very venomous. And he can be found here in Florida, Southeast Asia, New Zealand, and Australia. Then third up is the brown widow spider. What's up with these names? How come they call them widows? Are they killing off their own husbands? They're all widows? Well, anyway, the brown widow spider. He's here in Florida and he's in Southern California, mostly LA and San Diego. He's big out there. Well, I'm from LA and I, I've been to San Diego many, many times. Well, I guess I've been lucky I haven't been bit by the brown widow spider. Then last up is our own deadly brown recluse spider here in Florida. Now this guy, ho, 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 ho. He can be found anywhere in Florida. There's no getting away from him. He's everywhere in Florida. And the interesting thing about him, he's such a little guy. He's so small. He's about the size of a penny, of a penny. And he has killed people with his bite. Doesn't happen often, but he has that potential. Very deadly spider. And we have a clip. I'm going to have Martin put a clip on. Stop jumping around, Martin. There's no spider in here. I told you, did you see the maid leave when you came to work? The maid just left about a half hour ago. She scrubbed and cleaned this place like you can't believe. She debugged it. Everything's sealed. Everything's clean. Everything, everything. I got it. Last spider, Martin. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, Martin. I'm just kidding. No, the maid really did leave. You saw her. But there's no spider, Marvin. Come on now, relax. Get back to your post and get ready to put the clip on. We're good. This is the cleanest building, the cleanest office right now in all of Florida. You're good, all right? So go ahead and roll the clip. She's a lover of the sun and heat. So if you're in the cooler parts of the world, you're safe enough. And on a positive note, the recluse is so called as it is relatively shy and not regarded as aggressive. Their small fangs also make it less likely to deliver a significant dose of venom. Their venom is effective at destroying tissue, so if you're bitten, unless you seek aid, you're going to be looking at amputation pretty soon after. Their venom is particularly known for its necronic values, which translates to it destroying flesh. Well, did you see that clip? What did you think? Pretty wild, huh, folks? Wild. We're talking eating flesh? Amputation? Is what this happens with these spiders? People are losing their arms, their legs from a little spider bite? Now you see this photo? That was done by a brown recluse spider. Got a little guy the size of a penny. That's how potent he is. Oh, that ain't happening to me. I see a spider. I don't care what type he is. I don't care his nationality. I see a spider. <clears throat> He's dead. He's dead, dead, dead. Uh, you may think I'm a bad person because of it, but that's the way it goes, folks. I really don't care. That spider ain't going to bite me and stop my future. I got a lot of things I want to do. I got more news reports to bring you. I've got traveling. I've got a lot of things I want to do and see before I go. I'm not going to let some little spider ruin my plans. I'm going to ruin his. That's just the way I see it. Now, what can you do to protect yourself? What can you do to stop yourself from being around these spiders and have them get in into your house? Well, first off, stop leaving the doors open for so long. That's how they get in, or the windows. Keep those doors and windows shut tight. 
And if you have any cracks in your walls or cracks in your concrete, start filling them with some good silicone caulking. Got to keep those spiders out. Seal things up good, and you should be okay. And then just be aware of your surroundings when you're out in public, especially here in Florida. Now, I know it's another thing you got to worry about. Another thing on your plate, these brown recluse spiders. I just want you to be aware. I'm just trying to give you some good information that will help you when you're in Florida, whether you're visiting here or living here. How many of you knew about the brown recluse spider? I didn't know about it until I started doing this research and the report. Now that I know about that little guy, <laughs> he better stay away from me. If he knows what's good for him, he'll stay away from me. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm. I just wanted to bring you this report. Well, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you've learned something, and watch for more news reports. I'm Steve S.H. Walters, reporting for Breaking News 500. Now have a great day.